new kick. Welcome. Let's go ahead and get right into this. Oh, it's not up yet. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right. Exclusive source. Hmm? We got the top. Anheuser-Busch marketing executive responsible for boycott are no longer employed. So let's start it off. The top two, the two top Anheuser-Busch marketing executives who were placed on leave amid the company shakeup no longer work for the brand. A source inside the, uh, man, I'm not about to keep saying that. Anheuser-Busch <laughs> confirmed the text obtained by the Daily Caller on Tuesday. Group Vice President for Marketing Daniel Blake and Bud Light Marketing Vice President Alyssa you know her name, are gone, gone, according to obtain text messages with a current regional head of marketing. The caller is granting anonymity to the source to discuss legally fraught internal company policy. To my understanding, if we publicly announce the word fire, it opens the potential for them to sue us. That's why we said leave of absence. The source said in a text message obtained by the caller. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We don't really even need to read more. First of all, we knew this was going to happen. Okay? We all saw this coming. When they said that she was taking a leave of absence, guys, if you ever worked at a job, when you get put on leave of absence, that pretty much just means they're looking into a way to fire you. <laughs> I've never... I, okay, I have. I have. I've seen maybe one instance when somebody got put on leave of absence and they came back. It's so rare. When somebody puts you in leave of absence, the reason they do that, what ends up happening is like they send you home, right? You go home one day, they call you at six in the morning, like three, four hours before your shift starts, right? To make sure you're awake. And they're like, hey, um, we decided here with the company that we're going to go ahead and put you on a leave of absence. Um, we just need to look into some things. Why do they do that? Because some companies will not fire you in the building because some people will go off the hinges. So if you put somebody on a leave of absence, meaning you call them, you let them know, LOA, that way you can keep it from blowing up. And so they put her on a leave of absence. And I, even though this hasn't come out officially from Bud Light, and it's probably not going to come out and say that, they're done. And you know what was so funny? When I first saw this picture, right? When we first saw her talking back in the day, saying stuff about the frat guys and we need to change the brand. As soon as I saw this rainbow in the back, done. We knew she was done. Everybody kept saying when this first happened to Bud Light that they would just bounce back. You know, I was I was watching so many YouTube videos at the time, so many things on Twitter, and they're like, oh, the stock just falls. It'll be fine. They'll be back in a year. Nope. <laughs> no, not back in a year. They said they'd be back in a couple months. Hold on a second. Got it. Excuse me, guys. I had a late night. I just woke up a few hours ago. It's crazy, right? But, you know, with work and doing these live streams, you know, you got to make it work. So nonetheless, that's why I'm doing it so late today. So I apologize for that. But tomorrow we'll be back on schedule. I don't know, man. I just think when it comes to this um, whole Bud, um, Bud Light thing, uh, they really screwed themselves over with this whole thing. And you know what's so funny? It's not like... It, we understand, just like with Starbucks, these companies don't really care about being LGBT. It's not like they're willing to tank their company. They're just trying to get what some people are saying, get that score um, of being diverse because they're owned by a company that owns everybody, right? You, see, you know, when you go to this, uh, when you go to the grocery store, I'll make this make sense. Give me a second. When you go to the grocery store and you see all that cereal, right? You go to the cereal, aisle, you're like, man, there's so many options. It's so crazy because the, uh, almost all of those cereal brands are owned by the same people. So you don't really have as many options as you think. You're thinking, oh, man, I'm going to pick General Mills over Kellogg's. But the same people own both of those companies, right? They all have stock or stake in those companies. And so when these companies go woke, it's because of this same company. I think they're called Vanguard. I forgot the name of the other one. But this same company keeps causing these companies to want to go woke. The social approval score? Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's, it's gone now. Um, people are like, screw that. Because they thought it would work. 
I think this these companies that think that they can get people to just do whatever they want to, and you got to be diverse, and you've got to include Black Lives Matter, you got to include Pride, you've got to include Save the Trans Kids, I mean, Protect the Trans, trans Kids, I think that's what it's called. People ain't going for that. And at the end of the day, money is money, buddy. At the end of the day, if money starts going down, all companies will be like, uh, screw that. <laughs> We're not about to tank like Bud Light did. We're not about to lose billions of dollars for one can because we decided to use some weirdo. <laughs> and I'm sorry, that's just what he is. I'm sorry. What he is. Okay. He's trying to recover his whole company, but we're not going to talk about that dude. He's long gone. We ain't even got to mention his name no more. So let me know what y'all think. Short little video. This is just to open it all up for my people on my live stream. Thank you for being here. And for the people who are watching this on YouTube, that's just a nice opening to get the day started. But we got a lot of stuff to talk about. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.